So it's time that I need to add some new shirts and designs into my shop today. And I figured I could do a video on bleaching some stuff. I know people are always asking me, how do you get that perfect bleach spot? Or how do you do that specific design or different style? We're gonna go outside and I'm gonna show you a few different ways to bleach shirts. First shirt we're gonna do is a Heather purple shirt. And I'm just gonna use this for breeze bottle and I'm going to create the square look that I typically do on each shirt. So I always just do the outline first. And then I just go through and fill the center. Try not to spray too much, but I like to make sure that I get the center completely filled. And then now what I'm gonna do is use that stencil that we used the other day. Now we'll wait for that to process. I just did a big white center there, and then I did two little spots here, and then I kind of just sprinkled some around. And we'll wait for this one to turn, and I'll show you how it's turning out. Next one is Heather Sapphire. We're gonna do the scrunch method on this one. So after I did the scrunch on that one, I went ahead and put it on the cardboard and sprayed the white center. I like to do this process all at once instead of doing a couple processes because when you do that, it sometimes thins it more in the center. So now what we're gonna do is the accordion style on this gray one. All right, so I did the accordion style front and back, and then I went ahead and sprayed the center. And then on these, sometimes I like to do the little like sprinkles all around, so we'll see how that one turns out. This next one is the Heather Heliconia, and I think I'm gonna use that stencil again on this color because I think it'll look really good. This one, I'm just gonna do my normal bleach spot on it. So I just do the outline and then fill the center. All right, we're gonna let them sit and then come back and check on them. And here the shirts are dry and white. 